Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my first IKEA hugs video. I wanted to create this kind of video for a while, but I was actually waiting for the shops to reopen again as I just prefer to go to the shop, have a look around rather than buying online. So for today's video, I prepared three really quick projects. Sometimes I'm adding new details to the item and sometimes I change the purpose of the item completely. So without any further ado, just let me show you what I came up with. For my first project, I will be using these baskets. I'm not going to say the name of them as I will probably do it wrong anyway. I paid three pounds for one and I got two of them. They are in really nice color and very light. I also got macrame cord. Mine is a four millimeters thick wooden ring and bits. I'm going to attach the rope to the basket in four places making it more stable. For the design I'm going for I will need 16 pieces of cord so I cut 8 pieces each 450 centimeters long which I'm going to fold in half. Length of the rope really depends on how low you want your baskets to hang. I've got quite high ceilings at home that's why I cut so long pieces of cord. I've got 16 pieces folded in half and now I attach it to the wooden ring by Lark's head knot. I divided all ropes into four equal sections. I'm looking for the holes which are big enough to put the rope through and they are also in the same line. Going from the inside of the basket, I put the first section of rope through the hole and I do the same with other three parts. Now I'm creating knots to secure the basket from sliding down. Just think how low you want your top basket to be and leave enough rope on the top. To make sure basket is level, I measure the first distance and then transfer it to other three ropes. Between two baskets, I want to create some macrame design. I'm going for a very simple one. I'm creating spiral knot, which is very easy and repetitive. Always make sure you start the next knot with the same uh, cord, otherwise you will create square knot. If you are new to macrame, I will leave the link in the description to the video where I explain the macrame basic knots. I see roughly how big gap I want to have between the baskets and when I'm in the halfway I put one wooden bit. Then I carry on with the spiral knots. So I've created the same design of four lengths and now it's time to attach the second basket. I place one basket into another one to mark the holes I should put the rope through. And then again I secure it with the knots and cut off the spare rope. This project is so easy and budget friendly, all you really need is some special tools. When I was in Ikea and I saw this candle lantern for one pound, I knew I had to grab it. I was actually looking for lampshades to my new kitchen and I thought this would be a brilliant hack. 
I started with removing all the labels and the metal handle. To be able to hang it upside down, I have to swap the order of placing these two parts together. To create lampshade out of this lantern, I will of course need a hole to be able to hang it. So I try to find the center of it as exact as I can so the lamp will hang straight. And the best way to do it is to draw two diameters and the cross point is the center. This part is very important. To drill the nice round hole in this kind of material, you will need hole saw which is suitable for metal. And to measure the size you need, simply take your old lampshade and measure the hole or remove the unscrewed part from your pendant. Attach the part to the drill and simply start drilling the hole. After a few seconds of drilling, the hole is ready. Please be careful with this cut metal, it can be really sharp. Clean the dirt and place the other part back on it. I'm really happy how they turn out. I've created two of them, so for two pounds, my kitchen lighting is sorted. If you don't like the white color, you can always give them a spray paint. For next project, I will be using two of the IKEA items, the cork heat pot stand and seagrass table runner. I will also need two embroidery hoops in the same size. I start with taking the middle part of the hoop and tracing its shape onto the cork. Then using sharp knife, I cut the shape out, making sure it's all nice and round. When I opened the table runner, I found out that the beginning of it is much thicker than the rest. So I have to cut this off. Now the seagrass is not secure, so if I don't tie it up again, it will just fall apart. So I remove some of the grass to have longer thread and be actually able to tie it. And then one by one, I create double knots. I only went up to here as that's the height I want my vase to be. I take the tailoring tape and measure the length around the hoop which is actually the inside hoop. Then I transfer this measurement onto the mat. With the top section I can just easily cut it as there is no risk of falling apart and from the bottom I cut it few centimeters away from the mark I've made so that I will allow me to create the knots. Once all knots are done, I cut off all the excess thread. I take the inside hoop and wrap the mat around it. Then I take other part and place it outside the mat so it stays secured between two hoops. And I tighten it. I take my cork circle and place it inside. It will create the base of the vase and also keep the whole construction stronger. For the top part I'm doing the same thing using the second hoop. I think it's a very unique project. I wasn't sure for well what I can do with this seagrass runner, but I'm really happy with the result.
Like always, let me know in the comment section which project is your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more IKEA hacks on my channel, please give this video a thumb up and subscribe. I will really appreciate it. I'm really happy with all of the results and I just can't wait to go back to IKEA and grab a few more items. And for now, thank you so much for watching, your support, and I will see you on my next video.